What's up, babes? It's Curly's Victoria. I am back with yet another video. If you're new here, hi, welcome to the channel. If you've already been subscribed, thanks for coming back. So I'm going to be starting off with a fresh face. Um, and you guys know I like to normally go in with my uh, primer, but I don't have any primer sitting right here. I don't think, I think I might've left it in the other room. Let me look. Oh, no, I got it. So I'm going to be telling you guys basically the simple glam routine that I'm about to use. So I'm going to be using my Hangover Too Faced um, primer. Let me take my rings off and um, let's get to work. So I'll be talking to you guys while I'm doing my makeup. So I'm actually preparing to do a photo for the gram um, and to do some marketing material and stuff like that. So um, normally when I'm trying to get myself together to, you know, do some marketing material sometimes i do makeup sometimes i don't because sometimes i just want to go with the first face other times it's just like i want to you know do what i need to do to look how i need to look sis you feel me so this video is just going to be a quick get ready with me well actually i'm not going to say quick because i'm going to take my time and i'm not too sure how long it's going to take me um these guys are working on my um you guys have heard me in multiple videos tell you they're working on the garage um drywall of my neighbor downstairs so if it tends to get a little bit loud soon it's because they're working but i'm gonna just try to film these videos while i don't hear them and hopefully we don't have to deal with them making noise all day so i'm gonna be um telling you guys what products I'm using. Most of these products that I'm using, if not all of these products I'm using, are gonna be the same products that I used from the other makeup video I did the other day. If there's anything different in here, I'm gonna be sure to let you guys know that these products are different. Um, I did find my Better Than Sex Mascara. I don't know if I put it in here. I don't think I... No, I think it's still over there. I might have to... I don't know, I think I'm gonna use this because you guys know I normally have my lashes done and I don't have them done. So because this is something that I'm gonna be doing from home, I'm not gonna press it too much because I like to go for a neutral, like natural look anyway. So I'll be telling y'all about products and I'll be doing my brows and looking away and looking down, but still talking to y'all. But I'm also going to um, be like, just talking about like why you haven't been as successful as you um, are supposed to be and why what you need to do to kind of boss back up because as long as you don't give up on yourself sis you're always going to be in the game you're always going to be in the running it's when you give up on yourself you stop believing in yourself that's when you're no longer going to you know be in the running so if you fall you get back up simple but if you fall and you never get back up you already you know you already quit on yourself the idea is to bet on yourself no one is going to bet on you like you're going to bet on you. And if there is somebody out there betting on you more than you, then you need to keep that person close. Because in the world we live in and, and stuff like that, people have more of an interest of themselves than they do for other people. So you want to go ahead and make sure that when you're bossing up, you're not giving up. You know? My nose is just like itchy. It's, it's, it's allergy season. Like it's not running, but it just it itches right now. But um... Yeah, you're going to want to make sure that you are bossing up, you know? So anything that you want, sis, you can have. You might not have somebody in your ear telling you that every day. Sometimes you might not even believe that. But you're good cyber sis here. I'm always let you know that you are, you know, you are great. And you're going to be great. And you are deemed for greatness. You know what I mean? You are literally created for greatness. So when you don't feel like you've been your best, get back on track and be your best it's okay to have the days where you're able to acknowledge like hey my head was like down a little bit today and lift that head back up and get get confident surround yourself with confident people um you know what I mean I was just having a conversation today um with another boss babe she's just amazing and we were just talking about, you know, like things like these topics and just also the conversation really was talking about furthering ourselves. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. And if you haven't already, go hit my girl Ashley's page up. She has not been posting videos, but actually, if you watch this video, you will be posting them, right? <laughs> so I'm going to link her um, channel information in my description if I don't remember to do so then somebody please say something but i'm gonna link her channel in my description box below and um 
you know, like if you get some time to like go check her out, then go check her out. And even though she doesn't have any videos up now, go ahead and subscribe because sis is going to have videos one of these days, okay? Um, just another boss babe. Um, but anyway, we were just talking about, you know, just like bossing up and just things that we're doing and just, you know, literally being those women who are, you know, being supportive of one another's goals and aspirations. So I would most definitely tell you guys, like, if you're not surrounded by people who are trying to go places and you're not surrounding yourself with people who have um, similar interests or it doesn't even have to be, y'all don't have to even do the same stuff. Y'all don't even have to be in the same industries. Y'all don't have to do any of that. But you need to have friends and acquaintances who are understanding where you're trying to go. There's nothing worse than trying to explain a vision to somebody who has no vision. It's the worst thing to do. Now, granted, we might be, you know, going after different missions in our lives, but at the same time, it's like, you know, you just want to be great. You want to be great and you want to surround yourself with greatness. You know what I mean? You don't see lions and wolves hanging out. You know what I mean? You have to literally figure out what is it that I'm trying to do? Where am I trying to go in this life? Even though my brows are not looking as perfect, I told you guys in another video that my brow girl literally, yo, she jacked me up. Um, I still, I'm gonna clean them up real quick, but I don't think, like she's good. I just feel like she thinned me out too much and now it's been making it difficult to do my brows. Um, you would think it'd make it easier, but it's actually making it more difficult. Um, but the brow pencil, you guys, Anastasia 12, the Beverly Hills collection, that's what brow pencil. And then this is the Anastasia uh, soft brown. I'll have it all linked in the description. Just explaining to you guys what I'm using on this quick glam. But yeah, go after what it is that you, you want. Go after what it is that you desire because it does exist. And if you ever found, find that you are surrounded by people who are not hearing your vision, then just stop surrounding yourself with them. Um, because it's the worst feeling when you're telling somebody, you know, you know, you're venting to somebody about what you want to do in life and they're sitting here shutting it down with like reasons as to why you should continue to be basic or reasons as to why you shouldn't be more successful than you currently are and how to be complacent and not being, you know what I mean? It's a difference when people say that they're not content. It's not saying um, can, they're not content with what they've been given. A lot of successful people, when they say that, or people who are aiming to be successful, they just mean that they're not like content being complacent. They basically mean like, I want more for myself. That That's making me not content with the circumstances. But it's not to say that they're not grateful for what they have. So if you ever feel like people are saying it in that way, change your way of thinking. Because no successful person, you know, is ever gonna be content. If they were content, they wouldn't be who they are, you know? And every time you hit your goals, it's a new set of goals that you should be creating. Your goal is to hit the goals. You know, the plan is to have a plan, which I'm gonna stop right here and say, if you guys are not following Rich Girls Plan on Instagram, go follow that. And if you all are wanting to keep up with my everyday life, then Craig Lisa Victoria on Instagram as always. Um, but yeah, you wanna surround yourself with people who get it because you don't want to spend the duration of your career or the duration of your time trying to explain a vision to somebody who doesn't get it. Like, not everybody's going to be meant for the same set of greatness. Everyone has the potential to be great, but everyone will not have the same direction and path for their life. So, like, in, in normalize supporting other brands and businesses and women and, you know people in key positions and people who are striving to become better like normalize support because i think a lot of people think well if i support this brand it takes the spotlight off of me you got to stop looking at it that way because the spotlight that's meant for you is going to always exist you know so like i said surround yourself with people who are going to lift you up people who are going to when they hear your vision they're going to be like and you can do that sis if they're either hating or they just don't seem to be supportive. Simple. So basically I just used one of my um, smudge brushes. I told you guys my brushes need to be clean so I'm using any and everything just to accomplish the look. These are my brows. I know a lot of people do brows off camera but I guess I just showed y'all how to slay some quick little brows. So normally I'll add a little bit of primer which I'm gonna go ahead and do that now onto my eyelids and stuff um, just to kind of give me 
the um, eyeshadow effect. I don't know about y'all, but I don't like I don't like naked eye uh, eyelids. I don't. I just feel like let me at least add a little bit of. So I'm using my Elf um, light uh, for my eye sh my eyeshadow. That's what I'm using it for here. Okay. I need my lashes done because I'm telling you, my lashes like girl. My lashes pull things together, baby. Um, but because this week is not really going to be spent doing much, I decided, other than studying and being in the house, I decided that I was going to let my like lashes breathe, you know, and have the chance to really wash my face heavy to be able to like clean where my lash glue and stuff would be. So that's what I'm doing this week. Um, I just used my Believe beauty skin foundation um in the color sand this will be linked everything will be linked that i'm talking about um and then i'm gonna use bare mineral pro this stuff is amazing this stuff can be so expensive but if you really look in your marshalls and your tj maxx and rosses and stuff for like quality brand products and you look for what works for you for example like um making sure that you have um things that are going to be good for sensitive skin and stuff like that You could find you some really good stuff affordable because like i told you guys i got those i got that for ten ten dollars 9.99 to be to be quite exact so i'm just going to i'm actually going to use a foundation brush instead because ain't nobody got time for all that i do not have time to be dabbing all this in and like i said i'm going for more of a neutral look especially when i'm doing like marketing business stuff i'm not trying to have all this makeup on you know what i mean i like a neutral glam a neutral look you know even my everyday makeup look this is just like an everyday makeup look for business for just to go out like a simple everyday makeup look now obviously if i wasn't talking to you guys i would do this in like literally like five minutes ten minutes top but and when my lashes are done it makes the process so much easier because I'm a no makeup look person, my skin naturally just, you know, doesn't have to have all this makeup. It's easy for me to just put a little routine together. You guys see how that blended so well? I just mixed two different foundations because I get, y'all know, my tan is real in the summer. So I'm just basically blending everything. This is for my either beginner's makeup, or if you're a beginner, or if you're just somebody who likes a really neutral look. I still have not been able to find Truffle. Y'all know Truffle is my Fenty Beauty, which by the way, I'm using my Believe Foundation Brush. You can get this brand from Dollar General, and I'm also using my Beauty Blender. Um, My leg is so dead. So that's what I'm using right now. Um, but girl, Truffle is my matchstick from Fenty. So you guys know I love the matchsticks. I've had them for so long, but look, I've had them since they first come out and they still like are lasting. But this is my caramel and my rum, but I normally have a dark one that's Truffle and I use that to, to contour for whatever reason, I haven't been able to find it. So we're not gonna be using that today. So I'm gonna go in a little bit with just a little bit of primer using that same elf primer that I used on my um, eyelids I'm just putting more here just to give myself a little highlight and like I said I like to go by the corners of my mouth just to you know crease the creases in case they have a little darkness there um, and then I'm gonna take the same beauty the other beauty blender it's a different one and I'm gonna blend this into um, my skin I'm not gonna do any um, contouring today because like I said, I can't find it. And I'm not about to experiment with using something else today and not knowing if it's gonna work. They're back to working. I know you guys can kind of hear that. And if you can't, it's about to get loud. So let me hurry up. So I'm gonna end up taking a photo, like I said, just to um, mark it and stuff. And, I'm working on a lot of projects that'll be coming out before you know it. Girl. What's your name? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Let me just take this and blend everything together. Like, 
like I said, I'm not worrying about the perfection of it all. And I know the lighting might not be the best. I'm not worrying about the perfection of it all because honestly, it literally is just to give myself like a little glow. So the next thing I'm gonna be using here is my buttercup, my butterscotch um, Sasha. And I'm just gonna bake with this really quickly. Add a little bit to bake, to bake. Okay. I really wish I could find my truffle because I need to contour because I feel like it just like brings everything together so nicely. So I'm only gonna put a little bit of that, not too much. Then while I am chilling, baking real quick, I was gonna use my Fenty Fly Liner. I need to sharpen this, but I'm gonna use just a little bit of this. You guys know I like to just try to kinda add a little bit to, um, add a little um, drama, Ooh, drama to the eyes. I think a lash has got in my eye or tried to get in my eye. Every time I'm trying to put this near my waterline, I start watering. That's why I like having on my lashes because a lot of times I don't even put, have to do eyeliner because the lashes be so dramatic. Like part of me wants to go get my lashes done right now because I just need to have my lashes done. But I told you guys I was gonna try to give it a break for a second. Give my lashes a break. And then when I go get my toes done again, which wouldn't be until September, because you guys know I get gel on my toes, so it lasts me about a good month or so. Sometimes longer. Um, but I need a pedicure, like, pronto. So I'm going to schedule that soon. But it's going to be for September, because I just have too much to get done for the end of this month that I need to put my attention to. But when I do that, I'll probably schedule my lashes. But right now, not necessarily a priority. Okay, so the last and final thing I'm gonna do now that I've done all that, which like I told you guys, this was the Fenty Fly Liner. It's what I was just using. And then I'm gonna put on some of this Voluminous uh, Lash Paradise Waterproof Mascara. I'm almost out of this and it's I think it's getting old because I don't like how I'd be doing my eyelashes. I barely got eyelashes right now, but y'all know what I'm saying. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this. But anyway, sis, long story short, you can do anything you want in this world don't let somebody tell you what you can't do okay don't i want you to prove them wrong don't prove them right and don't even spend your days worried about what other people got to say about you if they're not contributing to your success if they've not done anything for you or they're not doing anything currently for you in in for somebody to do something for you is not always monetary if they're not pouring into you adding to you just like you would pour into them or add to them then I'm sorry, sis, you don't need to be spending your time with them. You don't need to be talking to them. You just need to cut people off, okay? Honestly, respectfully. Normalize cutting people off because they don't fit your life. Like, all of this, people have beef with this person or whatever. Why y'all cut each other? We're not in middle school, okay? We're not in middle school. So normalize doing what works for you. Normalize your future. Because you can sit here and you can be basic or you can sit here and you can shake this world up. It's up to you. You want to sit there and be basic? Sit there and be basic. It's up to you, sis. But 30 years from now, when you're looking back, don't be sitting here trying to live through your grandchildren and your children because you sat here and didn't live your fulfilled life. Don't vicariously live through them because you didn't fulfill your dreams and your vision. Never too late to do so, but you need to be woke. You need to figure out what do I need to do? If you want to sit around and just be upset because you're not hitting your goals and sit around and be upset because you're not hitting your goals. That's just, that's on you though. That's on you. That's on you. So that's my advice to you. I mean, every day is not going to be roses. You could be going through a crap load of things, but you just got to keep going. Like it don't matter where your circumstances are right now it doesn't matter what background you came from it doesn't matter what you experienced if you want to be successful you're going to need to truly do what you need to do you know because in the end of the day like all you have is you if people are supporting you and people are in your corner awesome but in the end of the day in order for that support to be given they got to see what they're giving it to so you have to recognize your worth you have to understand like 
what you're built for, what you're meant for, where you serve a purpose in this life, like, that's what you got to do. Because nobody going to give you a handout. You know, the only way for people to know who you are is to make them know who you are. How do you do that? Branding yourself, marketing yourself, advertising, relationships, rapport, networking. All those types of things are what's going to really jumpstart. So, you know, boss up. And don't just boss up, sis. Boss up heavy. Because you might not have heard this today or this week or this month or ever in your life, but I believe in you. So if you believe just an inkling in you, just even if it's just a, a little tidbit, we got something to work with. Because we want to get you to the point where you're 100% believing in you. You can't let other people determine what you're going to do with your life. If you want to work a nine to five for the rest of your life, you can do that. There's no shade to that. Um, if you want to be an entrepreneur, entrepreneur, you can do that. There's no shade to that. I knew a girl, and I tell you guys this all the time. She was phenomenal at her job, but she told me, really, her life goals is to work a regular job and be in. She wants to be a mommy, and she wanted to be a phenomenal one when she had kids. That's a goal. There's no shade there. We all have different levels of success. We all have different lifestyles. So whatever it is that you want to do, do it unapolog unapologetically. And don't explain why you do what you do. You know, if people want to know, you tell them. And if you feel like you have people, you need that synergy. People who you can bounce ideas off of. And they're going to feel what you're saying. Because they too want to be successful as well. Um... Do y'all see this? I've used like every product that I mentioned the other day. So I'll just link everything from the other video right into this one. Um, at some point. Oh girl. Yes, ma'am. It's the look, right, sis? I just need to do something to my hair. So I'm gonna probably do my edges. I don't know if I'm gonna leave my hair down. I need to file my nails because something is hanging on to my hair. I don't know if I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my, I don't know if I'm gonna do half up, half down, leave it down, a little sleek ponytail with the edges laid. Girl, I honestly don't know. I normally do my hair first, have it tied up and then do my makeup, but I ain't feel like getting my fingers sticky from my products and stuff like that for my edges. But girl, you see how I just, this neutral glam and then of course i'm gonna put my lipstick on um where did i put it so i'm just gonna go with the natural glam this lipstick is from my brand carelisa victoria so if you guys are interested in some matte lippies by me make sure you let me know such these lipsticks are such a vibe like i'm not just saying that they are Comment in the comment section below if you've ever shot my collection and if you love these lipsticks. If you haven't, it's okay. Because everybody who has shop doesn't all um, necessarily follow my um, YouTube, but I've had people like, girl, different states, everything like, girl, yes. And that's my final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, let me see. Yeah, that's my my final neutral glam. I mean, looking from this way, I look a bit, I don't know to y'all, but this way I look a little bit ghostly. Well, not in this mirror, but in this mirror. I look a little bit ghostly. That's why it's like my tan, y'all, from the summer. It ain't doing it, sis. I mean, it is, but with my, my makeup products and stuff like that, it's just like everything is looking too light. I mean, like I said, from here it looks fine, but from here it looks like girl. So I think, I mean, this mirror kind of looks fine. So I think what I'm gonna do is add just a little bit of foundation around this area because I can't take that ghost that ghostly look right here I can't, I just absolutely can't it's bothering me so much 
And since I'm not contouring, I guess it's fine for me to just go ahead and paint over my bake a little bit. I know that kind of defeated the purpose, but girl. Okay, that looks decent, but y'all, I look cute like a little, like my face to neck ratio is not vibing too much for me. Like it looks good in these mirrors, but this one, I don't know if it's the lighting. It's giving ghost, it's giving ghost. The one behind me, not so much, but I'll just take the picture and the angle in which we're not gonna look ghostly, but really this, this video was about the conversation more than it was about the look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. Go follow me on Instagram at Curly's Victoria. And I don't know, see what, what picture comes about today. Cause just see what comes about. I'll see you on the next video.